Oh, hi there. I'm going to talk about uh, the propaganda machine. My understanding of it. The thing is, um, it's controlled through various media sources and different outlets. And as I've said before, uh, these are all controlled by a select few groups who are obsessive compulsive about the message that's being sent. They like to keep things simple, uh, vague, inspecific. They don't want people knowing too much. They, they want you to feel like an outsider. Like, and, but they want you to be happy being an outsider. And some people, they, they yearn for more. I know I do. Like, I can't read a newspaper I can't watch the television, watch CBC or CTV or whatever, watch organized sport and uh, be content. It's uh, not enough for me uh, as an average everyday citizen. Uh, perhaps you have to be a man or, or a person of higher standing, uh, which I am not. I am uh, what you'd call middle class. But I'm still not content. I feel that the world is a lot more colorful a place than is being portrayed towards me. Um, I feel like um, society is being dumbed down and we are being treated like we're stupid by people who believe that they are of superior mind towards us. Uh, now some people go, well, if you feel as though you're superior, that's a sign of racism, uh, which is true to an extent. But uh, the the prejudice, it's just it's just changed format. It's it's not any different than it was before, really. Uh, maybe they don't go around uh, beating up people anymore like they used to, but. You still get left out of the loop. You still don't get to fuel yourself in the pool of influence. Uh, rejuvenate yourself within the bask of information that's out there. Uh, propaganda isn't exactly some picture of some dictator and you're supposed to have this euphoric feeling of looking towards them knowing there's some godlike figure that's looking out for you uh, which is sort of leading into the religion sort of thing which I'm not going to get into and uh, the uh, occult of personality uh, that's a very long dingy and unpleasant subject uh, which you know yeah I don't want to get into it uh, from my understanding anyway I mean people see things differently than I do some people read books some people went to school for this sort of stuff I didn't but I do believe I have solid opinions on things no, the propaganda machine is everywhere. It controls how you feel about things. It controls how you think about things. And I think I made videos about this before. And I'm pretty sure I did. I, you know, like I make a video and I don't watch it again, you know? So like, uh, the thing is, you control media outlets, you control uh, the social norms, uh, you control society and how they treat the younger generation and you can pretty much manufacture any sort of reality you want you could have them believing in uh, space reptiles for all that matter you create enough media uh, specified towards that you get enough people to lie about it uh, you get enough people to be serious about it and you can convince the younger generation of anything um, 
there's uh, a lot of subtleties in, in propaganda. It's all about putting an image in your head. And if it's a controversial image, taking it out of your head right away by changing the subject. Like, I've seen many a commercial, which I've only seen once, and it was peculiar to me. Uh, one I can think of an uh, example is, uh, I forget the context of it, but it had something to do with meatloaf, and they're like, there was a picture of meatloaf, and then they're like, that's still meatloaf, and he's making like a crazed face, and I just thought it was so strange, and I would go, hey, I'd want to see that commercial again, but I've only ever seen it once. So, it, it left an impression in my head, a vague, I don't understand impression. And actually, the funny thing is, the only reason I, it caught my attention is because he was making a face that I used to be able to make. Um, where your eyebrows are kind of crossed in like this. Um, and I know how you get that way. Uh, it, you, you get them when you're young. Uh, you put angry thoughts in their head, get them to listen to heavy metal, mu heavy, heavy metal music, um, keep things vague and inspecific, uh, focus on certain topics, and uh, the heavy metal music, maybe even throw in a little bit of alcohol, whatever. And it just, it can create this sort of intense anger. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be violent. It can just be an intense anger. I know I felt that growing up. Just because of how I was brought up. I wasn't a violent person. I was just very angry growing up. And uh, the, if looks could kill... Um, then uh, my facial expression would do the trick. And uh, it co comes to think of me that uh, my, that expression was uh, more well known uh, in centuries in, or decades past. Um, to even see an image of someone with that kind of a look is uh, far and few between. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, particularly Vegeta, uh, he made looks like that. And this again is the propaganda machine uh, turning the youth's brain and its function into what they want it to be. And um, uh, the Grinch could also make that look and there's a few examples here and there. Again, this is getting back into uh, hints of um, higher society knowledge in everyday media. Um, yeah, that kind of trailed off a little bit. I was talking about propaganda here, uh, but uh, it's a it's a subsection of propaganda because. Propaganda's intention is to make you believe a certain reality which may or may not be true. Um, you may perceive it to be true, it may appear to be true, but it could be superficial. It could be, you know, people hiding behind anonymous masses uh, and you ain't got any clue who they are behind that mask. You don't know what they think. You don't know what they want. You just go along with a simple message. And the older you get, and if you um, intellectually don't get too stubborn, and you uh, keep your mind open, you uh, continue to thrive, continue to be alive in your thinking, uh, ever going progress, you can start to decrypt some of these uh, messages that uh, certain figureheads uh, place out into the world to deceive you and get you to 
get set in a certain standard of thinking uh, depending on which society you live in where you are and uh, these people they read the propaganda book they know one chapter ahead of you they ain't that smart you can figure your way around them and a lot of people go oh where's your evidence where's your sources and this is something I've mentioned before um, they constrict the information they withhold it they prevent you from figuring these things out or finding them especially easily you can't just google it and expect to find it so no again I don't have evidence uh, the kind of evidence that some people would expect oh, where's your Wikipedia source or uh, I didn't find that on Google nobody's made a video on YouTube I watch the news every day and I've never heard this those are not evidence those are forms of information and you gotta take it with a pinch of salt because they may or may not be true and there is no way that you as an everyday person can verify this uh, I do not have the resources most people do not have the resources to be conclusive about something that they've been told even people who go to university and study uh, serious subjects have no way of knowing exactly if what they've been taught is entirely the truth or not uh, it's programming because the thing about the education system is it could be done a lot faster and a lot more efficiently but then people don't learn their lessons they, um, they, they become arrogant they they want their information fast they don't have any patience um, and you can see many examples of this uh, where they try to teach you patience and uh, in uh, not too long ago times uh, they overdid it like uh, what's a good example oh I know the original Star Trek now my friend who's older than me was very interested in Star Trek he was obsessed with it as a matter of fact I watched a few episodes of it okay man I'm not a total expert but I watched a few episodes of it and um, it was extremely dated it was so slow you have no idea unless you've actually watched it I mean if you like it good for you uh, I could see why some people would like it but it just it's not stimulating enough most of the time for me uh, not enough not enough is happening uh, and it they draw things out and it takes forever for anything to get done and uh, that's exactly what they wanted to teach people back in the 60s is patience uh, they wanted them to slowly learn things that they could have learned a lot faster because uh, the thing is you could take 10 hours to explain something or you could take half an hour it all depends on how you uh, script your speech uh, some people will go on and can blather on for 10, 20, 30, 100 hours about a subject. But if you just focus on the important parts of that conversation, then it can be done a lot faster. Um, but then again, patience is important because you're not always going to get the fast answer sometimes you have to be a pioneer of a new subject and you have to really try hard and if you don't have the patience to figure that sort of stuff out then you're gonna lose interest and the subject will not go any further uh, knowledge on that subject will not increase it will only decrease because uh, the whole system of the argument isn't moving forward fast enough for someone 
to stay interested. Uh, and this is all related to propaganda um, in, in its way. Uh, propaganda is a vast subject and you can there's so many different directions you can go into and um, you're not going to become jo Joseph Goebbels because you make a few YouTube videos about propaganda. I'm sure a lot more about the subject is known today than was in World War II times, but uh, simple messages still exist in modern day propaganda. They like to keep it uh, dumbed down, simple, vague, and easy to contradiction so that you can't really be sure if you're entirely right or not unless you go to school to become a doctor and then they pound it into your head that what you're doing is right and they may even give you the answers that uh, you could expect or the questions you would expect of someone who doesn't agree with you uh, they train you like a dog basically uh, with your programmed answers and retorts to stop people of a lesser education from questioning your authority. This is if you're a doctor, police officer, or whatever. Uh, as I've said many times, there's no cheat sheet. There's no book for dummies on the subject. Uh, yeah, the propaganda machine it's a powerful apparatus it's in constant motion you may not see it you may not understand it you may not th you probably don't even think about it but it's always there everywhere you look everywhere you go because if it wasn't then a message contradictory to uh, society's propaganda machine could flourish accidentally and the people of higher standing don't want that they don't want some rogue message uh, taken hold because uh, fear is actually the easiest uh, method of propaganda and as soon as that creeps into the soul of uh, one person it can spread to more people and to more people and more people and then you got panic and uprising and total confusion at your hands and uh, your con the elites control over its populace weakens and they have to resort to more extreme measures so they don't want radical thinkers they don't want they've never wanted radical thinkers they've never wanted people who think outside the box they always want to control the information and stop people from thinking for themselves they uh, know that isn't entirely possible so they came up with a caricature as I've said the anonymous caricature uh, where he preaches truth and freedom and he calls for revolution these are all buzzwords that don't mean nothing you can be an internet warrior all you want if uh, you're just going along you're just a sheeple as they would call it uh, then you're doing exactly what you're being told uh, they say, oh, if you watch the media, you watch CNN, uh, you believe your government, you're voting, when you cast your vote, it actually counts for something, that you're a sheeple. But a sheeple means sheep. Sheep have shepherds who lead them into certain directions. So if you believe in this anonymous character, uh, Guy Fox, whom has nothing to do with the anonymous 
uh, mask or the character behind the anonymous uh, mask, then you are still a sheeple. You're just following a different shepherd. And uh, me, if I have to be a sheep, I'm going to be the black sheep. I'm not going to follow the rest of the crowd. I don't care if I look different. And I don't. I think a lot of other people shouldn't care if they look different either. It might lead to you being a social outcast. Uh, so that is a drawback. But uh, I've made my bed and now i got to sleep in it. So I'm unconcerned. There are more uh, immediate problems at hand, as I've discussed in other videos, as I keep mentioning. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do more videos on the propaganda machine. Uh, it's, it's so vast, yet so simple. It's. Uh, you know, it's like fixing a television with a wrench. Uh, trying to explain this sort of thing. So, I don't know how good a job I'm doing, but... The main thing, I, what I want to say is... Take things you hear with a pinch of salt, and don't believe everything you hear. Anyway, you guys like this video, or not? If you did like it, hit subscribe. Thank you, and good night.